if you are considering getting this uh, Lodge cast iron um, Dutch oven, that's that. I'm really happy with that purchase and I've used it mainly, honestly, for bread baking. Um, since you can keep it closed for the duration of the time, you need some steam going on in there and then you can open it up to the last part of the um, baking. That cast iron is, you know, it's the best. <laughs> um, it's the most durable thing. I have it here. I use it so many times. It's already very seasoned, um, but you know, it takes a little while, but it, it was kind of easy to get it um, that way from the first few times. It's not um, like, uh, you know, such a long, long process, but always remember to keep it um, seasoned um, and oiled after every use, uh, clean it up, dry it up real well, um, even, you know, on the stove top, and then put some oil on it and you're good to go. Um, make sure you do all the sides as well and the cover. Um, and what I love about it is that you can use it on the stove top. If you're using it for um, cooking, you can brown on the stove top, then put the lid on, pop it in the oven. So it's kind of multi-purpose. What also I love about this type of kitchen tools is that it's it's really a wide variety of things that you can do with it. It's just a very versatile pot um, for cooking, baking, stovetop, oven. Uh, cast iron is always a good idea and uh, a great choice if you have to kind of consider two options. Cast iron is, is a good good option to go with. Um, and it's, um, you know, not a high end. It's kind of like a mid range, I would say, but it's a very uh, known brand. Uh, Lodge is a great quality brand. So overall, um, I give this a thumbs up and definitely recommend that uh, Dutch oven by Lodge.